morning friends welcome back to my channel my name is Bethany Noel if you're new here if you are if you don't mind just giving my channel a nice subscribe button like comment engage with my content I love interacting with you guys but you're probably wondering why do I have this jar in my hand with little papers in it well today's video we are going to do my art picks out how many hours I read for 24 hours starting today at 10 a.m. but the twist is this is going to be a realistic one <laughs> realistic as a mom as you know I work all day I drive around all day but we're still going to see how many pages or how many books I can get through within 24 hours so without further ado let's shake this jar up let's see I am petrified because I think I put this all the way up to 12 hours so We'll see. Not looking. We have 11 hours, guys. We have 11 hours to read as many pages or as many books as we can within 24 hours, starting at 10 a.m. today. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. We are at 57 minutes and 38 seconds in into the challenge. I am reading The Vicious Games. Um, that is by Joelle Wellington. And if you all don't know what that is, I'm going to let you know. It is about a black teen desperate to regain her Ivy League acceptance, enters an elite competition, only to discover the stakes aren't just high, they're deadly. In the searching thriller um, that Aces of Space meets Squid Game, with a sprinkling of The Bachelor. You must work twice as hard to get half as much. Adina Walker has known this um, this the entire time. She's been on scholarship at the prestigious Edgewater Academy, a school for the rich and mostly white upper class of New England. 
It's why she works so hard to be perfect and above reproach. No matter what, no matter what, she must force beneath the surface. Even one slip can cost you everything, and it does. One fight, one moment of lost control leaves Athena blacklisted from her top choice Ivy League college and any other. Where are we? Her only chance to regain the future she sacrificed everything for is the finish, a high stakes contest sponsored by Edgewater's founding family in which 12 young ambitious women with exceptional promise are selected to compete in three mysterious events, the ride, the raid, and the warrior out. The winner will be granted entry into the fold of the Remington family whose wealth and power can open any door. But when she arrives at the finish, Adina quickly gets this feeling that something isn't quite right with both the Remingtons in her life and her life prize away in her competition in her competition and soon it becomes clear that this larger than life prize only come at an even greater cost because the finished stakes aren't just make or break their life and death adina knows the deck is stacked high against her it always has been so maybe the only way to survive their vicious gains is for her to change the rules so right now i am 11% in. I am on page 42. I do have the physical copy at home. We'll switch to that once we get home. Um, I am reading on my Kindle while I'm at work and it is good so far. Um, we've been introduced to Tony who is Adina's best friend. Uh, we have been introduced, introduced to Pierce who is the son of the family, um, of the founding family who is I guess in control of these games. Uh, we have been introduced to Esme, who is pretty much like Adina's rival, I guess, her enemy. We have been introduced to Charles, who is also kind of friends with Tony and Adina, but he's trying to be friends with Esme because of her status, but you know. Um, so we have been introduced to a, a, a good amount of people so far. I could, they're, they're young. They are mostly Caucasian. Tony and um, Adina are black, um, African Americans. I have just got to the part, and this isn't a spoiler, this is going to be a spoiler free video, um, but I just got to the part where Adina is trying to figure out if Pierce has accepted her into the games or not. So we are we are doing good so far. I'm, I'm like in between calls and working right now, so we have 11 hours to read, so let's see. the book this is definitely giving me like mean girl vibes it's giving like i'm i'm trying to think of a specific show it's giving like mean girls like you have the popular kids aka the super rich kids with the super wealthy family and then you have the two black girls who have to work for every single thing and earn every single accolade that they have put the work in for and then you have these uppity people that wants to diminish your life and to just give you such a hard time. And because they have status and their parents have money and they're so involved with the academy, they have so much power that just one simple thing, one simple word, even if they antagonize you and mess with you, can completely ruin your future. So I see that is what's happening to Adina. This is no spoilers. It's all on the back of the book. But um, I'm hoping I see a lot of character development from her. I'm already liking Adina, though, because as far as in Tony, Tony kind of like cries and kind of gets intimidated easily by these bullies. But Adina just had enough. And she's like, I'm going to just tell you what it is. Like, I don't care. Like, you can't sit here and just keep bullying people and bullying people and think it's okay. So, my phone ringing, y'all. This is the reality. I'll be back. Y'all, I'm so annoyed with myself. Instead of me hitting start with the stopwatch, y'all, I hit reset. 
we got an hour in so we got an hour in so instead of me doing the stopwatch i decided that i'm just going to set a 10 hour timer because we already did one hour and we're just going to let it count down and we're just going to let it do its thing because that won't be as hard to just easily click a button and it's going like i just did so just a heads up just a fyi this is what it's looking like now If he'll focus, hopefully he'll focus. So that's where we're at. We still have about 10 hours to go. They pick the girl who has the best future ahead of her. The one who will reflect well on the Remington. if y'all can't see me that well i know that light is just terrible it is 8 52 at, at night i just left the gym y'all we have five hours and 48 minutes left of this challenge i have been reading i have been listening to the book on audiobooks this is my first time using audiobooks, but because I want to make sure that I maximize my time with this challenge as much as possible, I was like, hey, why won't I try to use audiobooks for the first time, you know, while I switch up from reading from my physical copy and my Kindle, you know, when I'm driving around or I'm running my errands um, or I'm in the gym doing cardio or whatever I'm doing. It has been blowing my mind lately. I mean, I don't know why I haven't did this sooner. But I'm out of breath, y'all, because I literally, literally just walked out the gym and just sat down. Um, but I am enjoying their vicious game so far. I am thoroughly enjoying enjoying it. It is interesting. I can say that I am definitely rooting for Adina. Um, not sure how I how I feel about Pierce yet. I'm not sure if Pierce is a victim or if he's really just one of the bad ones. I I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure out his brother Grimm as well. Like, is Grimm secretly like a good guy? He just can't help who his family is and the life that he was born into. Um, I'm not sure about Adina's friend back at home either. I don't know if she's like really a real friend or if she is a snake. I don't know, y'all. But this book is really good so far. Um, I'm only about, I'm on chapter 12, y'all. I'm not on my Kindle right now, so I don't quite know the percentage or page I'm on right now. But we'll find out before the end of the night once I switch back to my Kindle. But I just wanted to check in. I'm about to run in the store, grab a couple items, probably grab me a quick dinner. And I will see y'all at home. friends so we made it to work it is um 8 16 a.m we still have five hours and 46 minutes left of this challenge but don't worry i'm having a ton of fun um but yeah i am going to finish the challenge up today at work it looks like we did most of this challenge at work unfortunately so i hope that's not too boring for you all but um this is actually a lot of the time where I can read uninterrupted. So I hope you all um, continue to enjoy this video and I will see you all as we continue this reading TBR prompt video. <laughs> okay, so we are four hours. We have four hours and 17 minutes left. We are on page 192. We are 47% in. Um, definitely anticipate finishing this book today and hopefully within these four hours. I've just gotten a little busy. I am on lunch break right now though. Um, so yeah, we're about to eat this chili. We're about to continue to read. I'm enjoying their vicious games right now. It's actually pretty good. It's getting interesting. It's getting intense. I will talk about the full wrap up of my thoughts of the entire book at the very end of the video. Hi friends. So we are, we are 
three hours and 43 minutes in. Well, that's what we have left of this challenge, y'all. We are almost to the end. We have been reading for 11 hours. Mine is overnight. I did sleep overnight because I need my rest. It's no way that I could stay up all night doing a challenge. Now, I am thinking possibly doing a 24-hour reading, trying this weekend, maybe Sunday night, um, Sunday all the way up until Monday, maybe because um, I don't go to work Monday. I may, I'm thinking very possibly of doing that, but I don't know. I'm just talking right now but right now i am on page 211 we are 51 percent in not sure if i'm going to finish this book before the three hours are up i'm going to try my best but i'm i'm multitasking and i'm keep having to stop and keep having to stop the time and all of that but nonetheless i'm having a good time the book is good it's interesting i would recommend it right now i'm on the fence of maybe a three star rating i think that's where i'm at right now Unless something like really catches my attention and puts me at the edge of my seat, I can see it going up to a four. But we'll see. We're only halfway through. But I wanted to check in. I hope you all are enjoying this so far. Um, yeah. Hey, friends. I'm sorry that it's a little dark. I'm just in the parking garage against the sun. We are leaving work now, y'all. We have how many hours left? We have two hours on the dot left in 15 seconds. We are we are on 72% done on page 298. I do have to go pick up my youngest um, from my mom. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can finish out most of the rest of this book on audiobooks, y'all, so we can finish this challenge with a finished book, okay? So I'm about to go play it right now. I just want to check in, y'all. We are almost done with this challenge. It was so fun. I cannot already wait to do it again. But I just want to check in really quickly and I will see y'all probably once we are wrapped up. In the corridor toward the left, and Cecilia takes off to the right. Saint and I take the long way, walking down toward the main staircase. So we have officially finished the prompt jar that had me read for 11 hours. We actually finished that around 7 o'clock today. It is now 1034. But I did finish reading Their Vicious Games. I ended up rating it a 3 star. I actually changed my rating and ended up rating it a 4 star. And overall, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm so happy for the recommendations. I have saw reviews about it. Um, it is still a good book. I do recommend you all um, try to read it, especially if you do like Squid Games. It does give me Squid Game vibes. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm about to go to bed, y'all. I got to go to work tomorrow. It's Friday and I'm tired but I wanted to make sure that I ended the night with you all it was fun and I will see you on the next video bye